So I want to do some more expert challenges today. You know how it is. This one's called choose your own adventure. As a one tower only challenge with selling enabled, but monkey knowledge disabled. With ceramic and mob health being insane. Like honestly going for a fifth tier, or not sorry, not a fifth tier, a fourth tier ace to blow them up could be good. So ground zero would take that stuff out. I do think a ground zero is pretty solid. Again, I mean, it's gotta be the ceramic wave. And I'll just do rapid fire to kind of stay in this. But I am worried about like the regular balloons. Like is the ability gonna be up in time or am I gonna die? No, here's the wave. So we will get this off. So next up, I'm just pausing to think right now. Next thing I want to do is have like a preemptive strike. So let's see if I can sell this and get something down there. I want to get this preemptive strike because it's pretty good damage now and I need to deal with the BFB. I hear the fifth tier preemptive strike is better damage than the fourth tier, uh, but I might be wrong. Hopefully I don't... Oh god, I'm going to leak, aren't I? Oh no. No! Oh, there was another blue going up! <laughs> I was a little worried about that. Right now, we don't deal with the... Um, what well, we die before we're able to get ground zero off, number two off. Which is a massive bad sign. Let me look at the towers again. Like, is there anything else I'd want to do to just one-shot ceramics? Well, not biggest one, because if we're doing a tower that isn't ground zero, we need it to pop camo. Although, technically, I could do, like, a, a very quick shimmer, and then the biggest one. Maybe there's, like, a god mortar spot where I don't have to micro it at all. Do you think, like, if I just target it here, it'll hit balloons on the side? Some of them, yeah. Does that kill ceramics? Would you look at that? It does. Okay, that's pretty sick. I don't think shimmer is going to work the same way, but that might help a little bit. So what's nice about this spot is that balloons won't make it far. Uh, but when I sell this for the camo one, or for the decamifier, which means even with bad micro, I can probably make it back here. Yeah, this is actually a huge bigger AoE than I thought, which is really sick. Mm, actually, balloons are kind of making it far. Mm, but they're also kind of not. Shit. Wait. Didn't do anything. They're all still camo. Did I just miss with Shimmer? What about our reactor sub? I could do reactor. This might be easier to do. Yeah, because then I can verify. Like, the second the balloons touch the reactor means that they're going to be decamelized. I should, like, memorize where the BFB is on the track when the, uh, things show up, the camo ceramics. Alright, here we go. You can do a biggest one. No! What?! Why were there red balloons?! If I get Submergent Sport, I have to have perfect timing on it. I have to get the Submergent Sport at the perfect time that all the ceramics are in the range. If I if I don't get a first try, though, I'm not going to try it again. I assume they're mandatory courses. Alright, well, we did get the thing off. But is the question is, is the mortar actually going to handle everything? Greens, uh-oh. Holy shit, we're alive. All right, this BFB is infinitely slow. I do 40 damage per shot. Ah, fuck, I'll get a first strike. If the first strike fails, I can just get another first strike. Okay, we get another first strike. And if this fails, you guessed it, another first strike. D okay. The first strikes don't stop. <laughs> um, here's the thing, though. I don't know. I think I want to... Fuck it. Ah! It doesn't matter. The mobs aren't even close. I can't save this, can I? Because the thing is, like, even ground zero wouldn't exactly help out. How strong are these mobs? Oh, they're double HP. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, BFP is 28,000. Moib's 8k. Oh, BFB needs to be under 2,000 HP. So here's what I do then. I do two first strikes, then I do like 7,000 damage. Well, but don't forget about the ceramic health. The ceramics are also 200 HP. So yeah, I'll do like 7,000 damage. And then I'll do the, uh, well, I guess main Moeb. Is that the idea? I might try Solver. 
Actually, how does this map even work? Do you just go around three corners and then through the middle? No, it goes around all four. Wait, if it goes around all four, solver could work then. I was thinking it went around round three. Because I was like, well, there's no way I can put one uh, single solver and deal with everything. But I think there's a chance it works. Yeah, yeah, at the speed at which this pops those, yes, uh, solver works. 100%. And this should be a luck, less luck based than the motor. I just need to be a little bit fast. I need to be a little bit fast to get ready. I'm gonna just get now. No! Is there anything else? What about this asshole? This asshole could work. Maybe? I don't know how good it really is against ceramics like that speed. I'll just get this. This might be better because it beats camo. <laughs> like how you call this guy an asshole. You know he is. Deep down. Two hundred dollars. Alright, so two first strikes, main moab sniper, and then third first strike. This preemptive, uh, preemptive strike isn't worth getting, I don't think. Alright, so then I just get this guy. And then we just wait for it to hit about 7,000 damage. So chat, how are you guys doing? Grinding for around 300 on logs? I was thinking about doing a late game stream down the line that could be pretty alright. Like, I just mostly focus on chatting with y'all. What?! 6,000 damage and it kills it. Did I really do that much damage to the VFB accidentally? Um, well, I lose, don't I? Unless if it's possible to <laughs> get this up in time. Uh, I didn't realize it did 4,000 damage to the VFB over the course of things. All right, well, that case, now that we know the number, I can go up to like 5,000 damage. 5,000 damage is the mass magic number. Alright, so now it's sniper time. We're going for 5,000 this time. How was my day? Well, I, I got a new uh, pack of protein powder and the scoop was right on top. So, uh, it's been a pretty good day. Waiting for 5,000. Alright, good enough. So, the idea is that this should have enough damage to be able to one-shot the BFBs and the mobs inside and the ceramics inside that if we did our math right. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, I didn't hate it. I definitely got hung up on some solutions that were more luck-based than the actual solution. I feel like that's kind of a big thing with challenges, right? I feel that sometimes it's good to have bait, but if your bait, like, can be luck-based, something like Ace Micro that has high variability, something like Distraction Engine, sometimes even like Wall of Fire, if there's bait that has a potential for luck, it's way more annoying than bait that's like you try and you know it's not gonna work. Anyways, though, I mean, still a good challenge. This one's called No Name. 5960, no selling, no monkey knowledge. So the BFB is obscenely fast and strong. So it seems to be like a budget challenge. We have to somehow find enough money to make it to the boat? Wait, I only need a fourth tier boat pole. Fourth tier boat pole is all I need. So then I just gotta beat round 59. So balloons and ceramics are regular. So balloons, 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 balloons. Camel leads are gonna be annoying. How am I beating camel leads? Sub has camo, and actually sub is just straight camo detection. Hold on, let me place stuff in a different spot then. If I want straight camo detection with this sub, I might even go reactor, because that could help against the um the non-ceramics. We go Moncree Pirates, I go Blutonium Reactor, then something's good against ceramics. Oh yeah, reactor can go twice as fast, right? Or actually, is it just twin guns? What's the cross pass specifically that makes reactor go twice as fast? Oh, both of them individually buff them? All right, well, I'm going to get both of them. Uh, and then I'm ju I just want a little bit of ceramic damage. So I'm feeling like something like a tax shooter. It's like a tax sprayer sort of deal. Do I get money during this? Yes, I do. Oh, it doesn't... Well, it, it doesn't pop it fast enough. More glaives, I think, is a consideration. Do I get there money-wise? Oh, it's gonna be close. Because, like, the boat also helps with ceramic damage. You know, I should just try stuff. So I definitely want, need to start with this, then I get this uh, sub. Not terrible. What if I get this just a little lower? Ah, 
How are we alive right now? Submerge in sport time. And then pause because I need a little bit extra damage. <laughs> Any other damage I could find would be awesome. So, could be ninja. Ninja's kind of good because it's fast attacking. What I think I'm going to leak to is like a single freaking red balloon or a strong balloon. So, I would want that ninja to help. So, let's get a ninja just down here for leaks. Discipline, of course. Maybe distraction could, could be cool. Then here's what I want to do. I want to turn off... Uh, auto starts off good. Alright, we end this. Nice. Not a bad challenge. On the easy side, it's good. But you know what? Overall, good challenges today. Definitely struggled a bit, but honestly, I kept a good head on my shoulders.